Hey everyone! Welcome back to the channel where we break down the latest in Apple tech without the hype. Today, we're diving into macOS Tahoe 2 6.0.1, the fresh point release that's been rolling out since yesterday. If you're on the fence about updating or already pulled the trigger and hit some snags, stick around. We'll cover the key fixes, real user experiences from forums and social feeds, and those bugs that just won't quit. Let's jump in. First up, the bug fixes that matter. Apple dropped this update as a quick response patch, clocking in at around 2 to 3 gigabytes depending on your setup. It's not a feature bomb like the full Tahoe launch, but it targets some high profile gripes from the initial 26.0 rollout. Here's the rundown M3 Ultra Max Studio Savior. If you own one of these beasts, you know the pain. 26.0 straight up blocked installations on M3 Ultra models. This update clears that hurdle letting users finally upgrade without a full wipe. Electron App Lifesaver. Apps like Chrome, VS Code, and other Chromium-based tools were choking on autofill features, spiking CPU usage and causing lag. Your coding sessions and browsing should feel snappier now. Security Patch Priority. A nasty font parser vulnerability that could crash apps or corrupt memory via malicious fonts. Patched across the board, including iOS and iPadOS siblings. It's a quiet but crucial win for anyone handling untrusted files. Finder and Search Boost Spotlight and Finder searches were sluggish for some, especially on file-heavy drives. This version irons out those delays, making everyday navigation less frustrating. Cross-platform perks Borrowing from iOS 2 6.0.1, it tackles Wi-Fi slash Bluetooth dropouts and blank app icons. Handy if you're syncing across devices. User Experiences Hits and misses. Feedbacks pouring in from beta testers and early adopters across communities. Overall, Tahoe's core charm, clipboard history, window snapping, and that fresh redesign still shines for many. One user called it absolutely meaningful after switching from Windows, praising the productivity tweaks like single click app launches, no more double taps. Desktop widgets get a thumbs up for quick glances, though some miss the old launchpad grid. But it's not all smooth sailing. Battery life takes a hit on M series laptops, with reports of 15% drain every two to three hours, even on light tasks. Overheating's common too. MacBooks running hot during scrolls or video playback. Performance feels way smoother for some on iPadOS crossovers, but Mac users gripe about lag in window animations and app opens. Safari's a mixed bag. The new compact tabs vanished, RIP, Magic Mouse scrollers. For the 120 FPS cap on 144Hz monitors locks games and animations artificially. Quick look previews are pokey on M4 setups, even post-update. And for audio pros, tools like Audio Hijack had hiccups, though 26.0.1 seems to stabilize them. Persistent issues. The ones that stick around. Despite the patches, Tahoe's got some gremlins that survived the update. Memory hogs are rampant. Media analysis D processes spiking to 200% usage, turning your Mac into a RAM vampire. External monitors? Total chaos for some, with resolution glitches and no wake from sleep. Finder windows won't resize when tethering iPhones, and electron leaks persist in niche apps. Beta holdouts echo this. OS freezes, slow spotlight, and crashes in Teams or Figma. Hackintosh folks face firmware hurdles on downgrades, and Wi-Fi downloads can drag for hours. A quick fix for overheating? Disable certain indexing services in terminal. Check community threads for the command. So, is 26.0.1 worth it? If you're on an M3 Ultra or battling autofill woes, absolutely, grab it now. Otherwise, if stability's your jam, hold for 26.1 betas. Tahoe's got game-changing potential, but it's rough around the edges. Drop your experiences in the comments. Did it fix your headaches or add new ones? Hit like if this helped, subscribe for more Apple breakdowns, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.